Welcome to Keynotes. In this edition, Richard Stone, the CEO of StoryWork International and the co-author of Story Intelligence, discusses the power of story and the possibilities for personal fulfillment and more, embodied in the concept of story intelligence. So today I want to talk to you about story intelligence. And we're in a perfect storm right now. There's a pandemic going. We're on the precipice of a climate crisis. The economy is really in trouble. We have tremendous political polarization. And perhaps more importantly, we have a crisis in meaning. And, and a lot of the old stories, the meta narratives, just aren't working for us anymore. And, and it shows up in lots of ways. But one of the ways it shows up in a big way is that four in 10 of us have not discovered a satisfying life purpose. So I believe we need a new paradigm for what it means to be a human being in the 21st century. And for that, we need, to, we need to reach back to our roots and reconnect to our native intelligence, what I call our story intelligence, or SQ for short. And it's an entirely new way of thinking about human capacity. I believe that story is our native language. So what do stories do for us? Well, first of all, they allow us to share our experiences of the past. Now, in another way, they also allow us to paint pictures of our aspirations for the future. We can see ourselves as a significant part of an expanding universe, and they help us make sense of life's complexities. They bring meaning and order to the puzzles that permeate our existence, and they create a feeling that we belong to a welcoming world where good inevitably triumphs over evil. Now, our ancestors, they created stories about the celestial bodies, and, and they endowed them with human dimensions. In doing so, they incorporated the play of the firmament, firmaments into the collective story that we live in, and they allowed them to feel a little less minuscule and insignificant. Without SQ, there wouldn't be a Big Dipper or Orion the Hunter or Virgo, and our lives without these stories would be less interconnected to our world and, and barren in comparison to the story-filled universe we've created and inhabit. Now, story intelligence even imbued humans with the ability to create societies and cultures and collaborate with thousands of others. And, and it's amazing that simple stories just managed all this complexity with ease and elegance. Nearly every aspect of our day-to-day -day world is born from our imaginations and sustained through the stories we create, tell, and believe to be inviolably factual. Our imaginations have con conjured up religious philosophies and dogma, uh, vehicles of commerce using currency and paper and zeros and ones traversing over the telecommunication lines. Uh, political systems and nation states have inspired endless loyalty and we're willing to die for it. Uh, we're big on our sports teams and, and we live and die by their feats and their, their, their defeats. And, uh, and our plans and aspirations for a future uh, are all tied in with story. And those things don't even yet exist. They're, in a sense, the stuff of fiction, often fabricated out of thin air with tenu tenuous ties to anything concrete. You see, we humans are story-making creatures. And we're endowed with a gift for crafting tales that become all too willingly our reality. Now, story intelligence, or SQ, is, is a close relative or progenitor of emotional intelligence. And, and Daniel Goleman, oh, maybe 30 years ago, first wrote the first book on this. And, and it was all tied to research that was being done on emotions and how powerful they were and, and, and how instrumental they were to our ability to be able to be effective in our life. Now, I think that story intelligence actually explicitly puts the power of story at the heart of what it means to be effectual in every realm of our existence. And, and it stretches beyond intellectual intelligence and emotional intelligence. Um, our ability to function, I think, in the 21st century depends on our ability to master this innate feature of our personal, social, and, and spiritual existence. By embracing and understanding the role story plays, we can actually set the trajectory of what we'd like to do with our lives. We can become experts at, at managing the stories that we're bombarded with daily, and, and we can develop the know-how and the necessary ability to discern the ways they sometimes obfuscate the truth and limit our possibilities, and, and also how those stories can also unleash our human potential. So I think we're at the precipice of a new breakthrough, and it all comes from brain research that, that actually started the emotional intelligence wave of, of interest. And I think it's time for a new name for us. We should be called homo neurari, loosely 
translated as storytelling human. It's our aptitude as storytellers that distinguishes our species, and it's more defining than our reasoning ability or our emotional capacity. You know, Descartes proclaimed, oh, in the 1700s, I think, therefore I am. But I think that we need a new watchword for today. I story, therefore I am. So in this talk today, I'm going to talk to you about the seven powers of story. They're to transport, to communicate, to enable learning, to create meaning, to transform, to unite, and to envision possibilities. And developing your SQ, uh, you'll learn how to communicate with clarity and force. Uh, you'll develop the intelligence to fill your life with greater meaning and relevance and strengthen your capacity to fulfill your highest aspirations. And through enhancing your SQ, parents and educators will cultivate a depth of learning and discovery that will improve everything they do to nurture the lives of children. And perhaps most importantly, you'll unearth the skills to transform difficult challenges and wounds into enlivening possibilities. You'll find in the following talk ways to really begin to apply your story intelligence to make an impact on the world. So we need more than ever today to gather around what I would call ritual fires, to transcend the old meta-narratives. We need to create new stories that are inclusive, just, aspirational, and inspirational. Our world requires now more than ever a potent medicine to re-enchant our lives, and we must restore and restory ourselves, consciously building story into our everyday living.